This is the Good Ride review of the Air Blaster Toaster Jacket uh, brought to you by Gravity Sports at Mount Bachelor. A big thanks for letting uh, us get on this gear and talk about, uh, you know, what this, you know, what we can talk about based on the conditions we're in here. Um, you know, it's, this is very warm. Uh, what's the pricing again? Like 189 and we're looking at like, you know, 10K waterproofing, waterproofing breathability. But you're looking at 80 Gs of insulation and I can feel it already. These jackets are toasty. They're just super warm for people like me who t generally ride shells. Got just normal pit zips. The construction's good, especially for the sub 200 price point. Little things here and there, but really better than most in this peer group. Um, in terms of jacket, the jacket's helmet compatibility with the hood, it's a tight fit. And uh, what's going on there? Okay. Um, but it's a great seal. And that's what I love about these types of contoured hoods. And you can just see it's a little tight turning. But if I open up, I can do it better. But it's more for just riding up the chair. And this is a large jacket with a medium helmet. So, you know, take that for what it is. And the helmet is very low in profile. So it might not fit some helmets, but um, it's, it's fine though. It, it uh, comes up around the chin pretty well and can work for most, um, but you know, that's maybe the only complaint about Air Blaster that I'd like to see change is just, you know, to go to that bigger helmet compatible hood, but have it be um, adjustable so it can shrink down if you're, you know, not wearing your helmet for some reason, or you're not snowboarding and you still want to wear this jacket. Because that's how this jacket feels to me. It feels, it's a great looking jacket, and it feels like a not just for snowboarding jacket. It feels like you can wear this around town to stay warm. In terms of the cuffs, it's kind of interesting. It's got kind of like, not quite a wrist gaiter, but uh, some sort of seal, and it doesn't bother me at all. And that kind of compensates for nothing going on here. You know, there's no, there's no changes there. This is kind of always gonna be how it is. No straps, no adjustability there. Goes over. A pretty thick glove, the AK Guide Glove, uh, no problem. So that's cool, got that going for it. Um, looking at two big pockets here that really um, can hold a decent amount for this kind of pocket. It's fleece on the, uh, micro fleece on the outside and kind of like a taffet on the inside for warmth and um, you know, that kind of easy in, easy out. Um, then I'm not really seeing much else uh, here inside. You have a nice media pocket that can fit an S9 Plus uh, very comfortably. There's probably about this much room between the top and the where it's, you know, where it comes up to. You can see it in here. So it's a nice little media pocket. Yeah, you have to open up the jacket to get to it. And uh, it's not like some of the ones they make, but I like that it's just kind of like a nice outside waterproof zipper. There's no flap weirdness um, and very easy, well-built zippers. I mean, this jacket is constructed very well for its price point. Um, very doable. Let's get inside. Got a fixed powder skirt. Um, no real jacket to pant interface. It's just kind of more like there to wrap around and, and snap on if you need it. You've got your obligatory goggle pocket. You can see the mesh from the pit zips there. It stretches a decent bit. And you've got the media pocket that I described and you can see the little, the little hole for the cord. And I love this taffeta liner to protect the insulation as well as the membrane. I really like that. Um, and all in all, it's just a nice, uh, well-built fitting jacket for this price point, especially for those who like a lot of insulation and ride in cold areas um, that aren't that wet. 
but as far as their waterproofing and breathability goes from my experience with their jackets on snow i found that they're pretty good they um they hold up well and they're very durable very well built jackets so there you have it